continuing with the topic basic computer maintenance our next topic is protecting computer against computer viruses now let's see what are computer viruses computer viruses are malicious code or programs that cause damage to data and files on a system means they are not any virus or physical virus or any microorganisms that we commonly think but computer viruses are a small piece of program or a code of the program only it may be a software it may be program which may come to a system through internet or through any corrupted file or a pen drive or etc when these computer viruses comes to our system they start deleting the files or they start interrupting or spoiling the files and data of our computer these viruses can attack any part of a computer software such as a boot block operating system system areas files and application programs etc so when virus attack the boot block our system cannot start our the booting process of our computer system get interrupted when it attacks the operating system the operating system of our system would not work properly so these viruses harm our computer by interrupting the processes so by the attack of these viruses many of our programs or applications may not work properly or they may not work according to our wish or according to the desired results now apart from the computer viruses there are two other similar programs which may cause virus like effects so these are not viruses but they are harming our computer one of them is worms and another is trojan horses worms are self replicating programs which eats up the entire disk space or memory means it is not interrupting any of the software or any of the application but it is eating up the entire space or the disk space or memory of our computer so if our memory of our computer is filled or is used up obviously the speed of our computer would be affected so these worms keeps on creating its copies until all the disk or memory is filled so without interrupting any of the program these worms are harming our system by eating up the space or memory another such program is trojan horses it is a program that appears harmless to our computer but actually performs malicious functions such as deleting or damaging files means these are some ap- applications or programs like it may be a text editor or some other utility program we may when we see it we may find it it is not harming any thing but actually it causes harms like deleting outs or damaging some of our files now let's see which type of damage can be caused by viruses viruses if unchecked they can cause damages like damage or delete the files slow down our computer or invade our email program first is damage or delete files some viruses may delete or damage random documents or specific files which are crucial for our operating system for example operating system files this damage can range from rendering useless just a few files to affecting our entire computer possibly requiring us to reinstall our operating system and start from the scratch so the effect or the damage of the virus to our system can be very uh, harmful second is slow down your computer viruses can run in the background without being seen and may cause our computer to run extremely slow means the speed of our computer may be affected third invade your email program some form of viruses may wreak 
even more havoc by spreading themselves to the contacts in your address book means when they enter our system they may be spread to the contacts in our address book so with every email we are sending these viruses may be sent to the contacts all the contacts of our address book so we should take proper steps to protect our system from these viruses but it must be noted that whenever there is a problem in a computer we cannot just say that it is because of the virus all the computer programs may not be caused by the virus for example there may be some issue related to some coding in the program we may not be coded the things properly or we may not be going in the right way we may not configure the software or hardware properly it may also cause the system to work improperly now to protect our system from these viruses we have some anti virus software there are some anti virus software which we need to install on our computer which may protect our computer system from these viruses so these anti virus softwares are designed to detect and block attacks from the malware these software when loaded resides in the memory and checks every operation if it is malicious or not you might have seen on your system whenever you are putting a pen drive there automatically starts a antivirus program this antivirus program checks whether there is any uh, virus or any other malware present on your pen drive if it is it generates a caution it generates a message there that this program this file of your pen drive contains some malicious data so you must check for antivirus software every time you put a pen drive similarly when you are downloading something from the internet at that time also you must scan the file before downloading because it may also have some virus third if it is found means if any virus is found in any of the file and or any suspicious activity is fine it blocks that operation and saves our computer so we must have a anti virus software installed on our system we need to install it on our system it would be saved in the memory and whenever you are downloading anything or when you are scanning your system it would check for any virus now some of the antivirus softwares are norton antivirus pickhill security kaspersky antivirus etc windows 10 comes with windows defender program which can scan and clean our computer apart from that we can have any of these antivirus software installed on our system now a good antivirus program cleans most of the troublesome items like computer viruses means all the malicious programs written specifically to cause damage to the data these also checks for the worms which are the programs written to eat up the disk space antivirus programs also cleans the malware malware means any type of program with malicious intent such as spying posting unwanted ads etc these also deletes and checks for the spam files spam files are the files which are generated with the electronic junk mail or junk news groups postings or any unsolicited email next temporary files these temporary files are also checked by the spam uh, by the antivirus software temporary files are created by the applications and programs for internal uses while working these are of no use once that particular application program is closed means when you are running a application program that application program may create some temporary files in the memory these are needed for particular action but once the program is closed those temporary files are of no need they will not be used further so these are identified and deleted by antivirus softwares next is junk files junk file is a general name for the temporary files 
or the old programs or set of files, cache terminals, and other bits of digital that reads which are not required anymore and which are piled up over time. So all these things are detected and cleaned up by the antivirus program. So we must have a good antivirus program installed on our system. Now let us see how we can use the window defender program to scan and clean our system. As told, this Windows Defender program comes with Windows 10. To use it, we have to go to the settings. On the settings, we have to click on the update and security and select Windows Defender. When we click on this Windows Defender, it would show a small window. Here we have to click on the virus and threat protection module. While clicking on virus and threat protection module, it would open another window. From here, we have to click on the quick scan button to start the virus scan in common locations and memory immediately. This would start the scanning process. When this scanning process is complete, Windows Defender will report the result. This is the one method. Another method is we can directly go to any of the file, folder or drive, right click on that and click on the scan with Windows Defender. The scanning process would start. This scanning of the viruses or scanning of the system is required to identify any harmful things for the computer and it should be done periodically to protect our system.